Hello everybody and welcome to the Dependent Fanatic channel. I am the Dependent Fanatic and I just got off uh, the Michigan channel at the Voice of College Football run by the hierarchy of Mark Rogers. But uh, John Diadamo runs the Michigan channel and Tanner Wooten was on there and he is great. And uh, Jeffrey, the Indiana uh, person that they got brought on there, but he knows more than just Indiana. He is a great study as well so uh it was fun over there and maybe some of you guys are coming from there too here i just want to give my indiana preview and then prediction at the end of the video and let's just get started michigan is six and oh destroying teams rolling through this season and now they have indiana at home poor indiana two and three uh they beat indiana state and they needed four overtimes to be accurate. Uh, but Indiana was within seven points. It finished a seven-point game on the road at Louisville, um, who just destroyed Notre Dame. So very up and down here. Uh, Michigan is vying for their 996th win all-time. Indiana only has 505 wins all-time, 707 losses, and 44 ties. They do claim two conference championships uh, from way back. The series history between these two teams is absolutely one-sided. Michigan leads 61-10 to all time. And Michigan had a 24-game win streak from 1988 to 2019. Uh, and then the COVID year happened, the 2-4 and four season a few years ago. I think most of us know uh, what Michigan has, so let's just focus on Indiana for this video and preview. The head coach is still Tom Allen in his eighth season. He is 32 and 43 overall. He did have three bowl appearances in his first seven seasons at Indiana. Uh, the best season was eight and five for him, I think year three or four. And, you know, that's that's pretty good for Indiana um, but they need to get over that hump here or Tom Allen I mean how long is long enough for Tom Allen this win would go a long way for him if he could pull off this massive upset I heard the line was 34 and a half and uh, I didn't even know that before I made my prediction but it's pretty pretty close on my prediction there but you'll have to wait till the end um, offensively for Indiana they have some players I guess their quarterback is Taven uh, Taven Jackson a sophomore he is 71 of 115 for 62 percent this season with 862 passing yards two touchdowns and three interceptions he is not a runner uh, because he has been sacked seven times uh, he has 27 carries carries uh, for minus 10 yards, but he does have a touchdown. At running back, Indiana has Jalen Lucas, a sophomore. He has 49 carries for 271 yards, a 5.5 average, and two touchdowns. And then his backup, Christian Turner. Is that the same Christian Turner that was at Michigan? Uh, he's a senior, 40 carries this season, 477 yards, 4.4 average, and two touchdowns so that tells me right there indiana is a ground and pound team and before i even know i haven't watched any indiana games except for the ohio state one uh but stats later on will say that indiana is a running team they try to be anyway at wide receiver though cam camper is a senior he has 13 catches for 249 yards that's a 19.2 average we got to keep an eye on that guy uh, and he has one touchdown. Amar Cooper Jr. at wide receiver is a freshman. He has 11 catches for 144 yards, 13.1 average. At wide receiver, Donovan McCauley is a junior. He has 18 catches for 208 yards. That is an 11.6 average, and he has one touchdown. At tight end, they are not used as much as probably they should be for Indiana. Bradley Archer is a senior, four catches for 59 yards, 14.8 average. And Trey Walker, a senior, five catches for 
46 yards, a 9.2 average. Now let's talk about defense. The Indiana defense, there are four players that stand it out uh, statistically to me. Linebacker Aaron Casey has 43 tackles. That leads the team, and he has two sacks. Defensive lineman Andre Carter has 20 tackles and two sacks. And then defensively in the backfield, they have a couple of guys with multiple interceptions. Uh, Philip Dunham has 35 tackles and three interceptions. And Lewis Moore has 26 tackles and two interceptions. So can J.J. keep away from that mistake? Uh, he had that one game where he had three interceptions. Other than that, no interceptions the rest of the season. 11 and 0. 11 touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, here we go. Points per game. Michigan is scoring 37 points per game. Indiana is giving up 24 points per game. I wonder who wins that battle. Uh, yards per game, 415 for Michigan. And defensive yards per game, Indiana is giving up 368. Uh, I see Michigan's yardage total per game going up in this game. Defensive points per game, uh, Michigan is only allowing seven, which leads the nation, and Indiana's only scoring 21 points per game, so who wins that battle? I think it's going to be just a, not a very good offensive performance from Indiana. It's going to be their defense that has to win this game. Uh, Michigan defensively is giving up 233 yards per game. That's third in the nation. And Indiana is getting 334 yards per game offensively. But, which is not very good, uh, but 224 of those are rushing the ball. So that's where I said they are a running team. And, and if you look at some of the statistics and the, uh, and the player department, that's what it led to. And 110 passing yards per game is all that leaves. That, that's not good. You've got to be able to pass the ball versus Michigan. This, this is going to be an utter blowout against Indiana. My prediction is Michigan will score 42 points, and Indiana will only score seven. Now, I could easily see this being a shutout if the backups – because I think the backups are going to be in again. You know, Michigan played 74 players, 75 players last week at Minnesota. They're going to probably play that or more this week if they get up big. And, you know, that leads to some mistakes and learning experiences for these uh, players. But I think they probably do give up a touchdown. Michigan's averaging giving up seven points, so I'm just going to go with that. It might just be a field goal. There's been no offensive snap inside Michigan's 10-yard line so far this season on defense. And offensively, Michigan, maybe some of these backups can get in and score more points than they have in the first five games. It, it could be, I mean, if it was a perfect game and Michigan scored on all 10 of their drives, it could be 70 points to a shutout, 70 to zero, but I don't think that's the case. We're gonna play a lot of young people. Um, so there you have it, 42 to seven, Michigan wins Saturday, big noon kickoff on noon. And that will lead into next week's game uh, in least Lansing versus the Spartans. So there you have it. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Like the video, share with other people out there, please. Uh, you know, not a lot of people know about me. Subscribe uh, if you have not. Thank you if you have subscribed out there. Uh, 181, slowly climbing up. <laughs> and uh, have a great day, everybody. Remember to just to have a great day no matter what. You can rub some things off and shed things off your back and just keep a positive attitude. And especially if you're a Michigan fan, relish in these moments, in this season, the past couple of seasons, this era that Harbaugh has built. It's awesome. It's awesome.